Welcome back to another UDK tutorial. In this video we'll be using some of the basic tools to construct a simple level. So let's begin. First, create a new level using the blank map template. When we have that in place, we'll be grabbing our red builder brush which can be viewed in all the viewports. Click on it and you can notice the gizmo in the middle. At the side there we have our primitive brushes. We'll go with a cube for now. If we right click on it we get this dialog box which can change. Here I'll put 1024 by 1024 by 1024 in the X, Y and Z axis. We can choose to make the cube hollow by clicking this checkbox here, which is helpful if we want to make a basic room. We can then hit the CSG add button and it'll add our BSP brush into the level. We can then navigate inside the brush. If you hold down L and left click anywhere in the level, you can create a basic light source. This can be moved around along the X, Y and Z axis using the gizmos in each viewport. When lights, brushes or static meshes are added to the level, it's always best to hit build all to apply any changes to your level. It can be found at the top here. You can right click and choose to play in your level at any time. You will always start where you right clicked in the level. If you go ahead and grab your red builder brush and then right click on cube, we'll uncheck hollow and we'll type into the z-axis 256. Hit CSG add then drag the red builder brush upwards until its bottom line is touching the BSP we just made. Next we will go into geometry mode to select points, hold control and shift, then drag with your left mouse button to select the side points. Move them in and do the following to the next two. This way you'll end up with a thin red box. This will be our wall. Hit CSG add again. Then, in your side viewport, select the points again to make a small box. Then hit CSG to subtract you will now have an opening for your player to use. Again, hold down L and left click to create a light source in your level. Change the mode at the top to lit if it has not done so already. Move the light around until you are happy with its position in the level. Now hit build all to apply the changes to your level. You can copy anything by holding down the alt key and dragging. Do this with your light now. Most levels will use static meshes. So go ahead and open up your content browser and select static mesh in the filter panel. You may select any static mesh that you wish. I've chosen a pillar. You can drag and drop meshes from the content browser onto your level. Move your placed mesh to a better position. Then create two copies of it. Next we will create a volume. Select your builder brush then left click cube. Start dragging the points so your level sits inside the brush.
make sure to check every viewport. With the brush selected, we want to right click the volumes button and select light mass importance volume. UDK will now correctly build our lighting inside the volume when build all is run. Now we will create a player start. To do this right click, select add actor, then click add player start. We will now have a starting point for our player. The arrow is the direction the player faces when it spawns. You can use the rotate and move modes to place your player in a better position. You can now click the green play button to spawn your player at the starting point. You now have a working level. In the next video we will look at the different types of lighting which you can use. Thank you for watching.